Uh, so boom, so I must have dropped that video how to get out of a gang a couple days ago. And uh, let me tell you, <laughs> man was procrastinating on that video. I was supposed to make that video like in November or December last year and that. Um, done a couple notes on it, I think I lost it. And then let's say about six to eight weeks ago, man started doing some notes on it. Then you just forget about it and that, and yeah, next thing you know, eight weeks has gone by. Because basically, that video there is pretty much for the youths them that's in Weatherby and Felton. Now, obviously, um, they're using my content in Felton and they're using my content in Weatherby. Felton came first and Weatherby next. ISIS and the rest of them later on in the future, you get me? But anyway, um, when I spoke to the guy at Weatherby, um, HMP Weatherby, I told him, yeah, in a week or two's time, the video called uh, How to Get Out of a Gang is going to drop and it didn't drop in it. So I was like, you know what, yeah, man, I need to do this ASAP in it. So, drop the video, uh, well, film the video, drop the video on that. Um, yeah, obviously, I think it's a good video, a couple comments and that. People then say the video is good and that. Uh, one person, is it uh, T, the subscriber? Uh, respect for the comment saying that it's a good vid. And you basically made a suggestion to say that I should cut up the video make some snippets and post it into one of them Instagram blog pages and that. Yeah, respect for the suggestion and that, innit? Yeah, but man will pass on that. Because man don't believe in cutting up videos or um, sending my content to pages and that to get promotion and that. Man don't believe in paying for promotion. You see me, I'm a man, I believe in hard work and organic growth. You see, there's a lot of people out here, you know? I know people, they'll try and start some rap career or something, minute release one video and because they don't get the numbers that they thought they was gonna get, because they didn't get the outcome they thought they was entitled to, they give up. I know a few people, they started YouTube channels and they abandoned them after a few videos and that. Do you know why? They're outcome dependent. They don't believe in organic growth. They don't believe in the thing. They're just making videos and that, start rap career, start a YouTube channel and that, start a business. They start them thing there, they don't believe in them. So when they don't get the views or the results they want or the, the business they want, they jump ship. I'm the proof of uh, being able to stick with something that ain't successful, stick with something where you're not getting no results and that. Look on man's channel. Obviously, I don't put my subscriber count up, but I'm telling you right now, I've almost been on YouTube for four years, you know, and I've only got 819 subscribers. That's embarrassing. Now, I'm not embarrassed, but in terms of YouTube numbers and that, that's embarrassed. There's certain man, certain man, they started YouTube channels and got that in a month. Certain man get that amount in a month. Certain man get that in a week. Then the biggest YouTubers are that they get them sort of numbers, them subscribers and that in a week. I've got that in almost four years. But you know, I'm a man. I stick with things. I stick with things, man. See, that's our, our problem, especially as black people and that. We're outcome dependent. We want quick results. We want a quick buck. That's why all the Jamaican, that's why all the Jamaican shops them that pop up, West Indian yard food shops. That's why when the shops then pop up, after a year, before there's any dust on the Ross Clark sign, the shop goes bust, shut down, liquid Ross Clark Dation, fam. Because we ain't got a passion for it. We just want to make quick money, quick results. And when things don't work out, we jump shit. In life, anything that you do, you need to go into it with a passion. Do you know why? Because even when you don't get the results you want, i.e. my YouTube channel, you're going to still be there, grinding. Most YouTubers... I've heard people say on YouTube, if you ain't got 10,000 subscribers by the first year, quit. If you ain't got 5,000 subscribers by the first year, quit. I probably won't even have 5,000 or 10,000 subscribers in five years. Man, I still be here making videos, you know what? Because man enjoy the thing. Man enjoy the thing. But, do you know what? If I had that mentality like, oh, you know... Uh, if I didn't get 5,000 or 10,000 or whatever number I had in my head, if I didn't get that subscribers by uh, whatever certain time, especially in the beginning and that, I would have quit. I wouldn't have made enough videos to get noticed by the people them from Felton, by the people them from Weatherby. 
If your content is good, or your content touches certain people, or if people, it resonates with certain people, people will share it. It might not happen in the first year or two. Forget anything, forget about content, forget about YouTube videos, anything. You might not get the results you want straight away. That's life. But what happens is, man then will jump on YouTube, make videos, and then they will complain that they're getting shadow banned and that. You're not getting shadow banned. Man will complain, oh, I'm getting shadow banned and that. But there's people that look like you that's doing it, irrespective of your colour. Black people love shadow ban as well. That's, yeah, that's, that's the goal too, isn't it? That's, that, that's, that's the, the get out of jail free card, isn't it? That's the, oh, I ain't got the results. I want free card. Shadow ban. There's no such thing as shadow ban. Even when you're talking mad, if your thing is good, people are going to share it. People are going to promote it. R.I.P. Kevin Samuels, the GOAT. His thing was so controversial. Man was dissing gal. And a lot of people feel like, and you know what, let me tell you about what he was dissing gal. He was telling girls, women, what they need to rask like here. He wasn't dissing them. Now, maybe he might have dissed a couple of them, but you understand what I'm trying to say, innit? He was telling them what they need to rask like here. Maybe his delivery wasn't what they wanted or, or they liked, but you know what, yeah? Even with man doing all, talking all that madness and that, and he was getting onto the man them as well. So this is the thing, a lot of people feel like, oh, Kevin Samuel's just getting onto the gal them. No, go and watch. Do your research first, innit? Don't watch just one, two, or the last two videos and that. Go and start from the beginning and watch his thing. My man was getting onto the man them. Ask Clark Moth. My man was getting onto the man them as well. And even in that, man, and, man getting onto the man and getting onto the gal them, Man, I'm getting onto the people them so hard that when man passed, people are making diss videos and you get me dissing him, man. You know what I'm saying? It's sending for a man, innit? Even with all of that, my man still got like what? I think 1.5 million subscribers. Well into a million subscribers and that. You know, before he blew up, you know when he made that 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 live stream where and then he, he spoke to the woman and said you're average at best. You know at that time he only had about thirty thousand subscribers. You know? Literally only had about thirty thousand subscribers because I was watching a couple live streams just before that one, and someone must have said yeah I know you only got thirty thousand or he must have said it. You don't know what's around the next corner. Never give up. That's the moral of this video, man. Never give up. I'm not cutting up no videos and sending it to no blog pages. I'm not reaching out to no one with no platforms at all and say, oh, can we do a collab and that? I'm not doing it. I believe in organic growth. People like your thing, they will share it. Even, even you know, Bobby Kasanga, the, uh, my man that does the big ego media thing, he even put my thing on his page. This is like... Maybe two years ago, definitely a year and a half ago, easily. And I remember on Instagram and I see bare following and that. And I'm like, right, why am I Instagram popping like that? Come my Instagram ain't popping like that, you get me? Boom, man, I see bare following and that. And I'm like, right, what's going on? And I go to like, I even know the Instagram, you know, like the, the, the notifications. And uh, I see a couple people tag my name and that. So what happened was Bobby Kasanga must have, basically the Blue Channel, big up the Blue Channel, big up Bobby Kasanga as well. Isn't it? Um, the Blue Channel must have shared my post talking about uh, when I first bought a property when I was 24 or something like that. So the Bobby Kasanga must have seen it and he took the video and put it up on his uh, page on Instagram and that. So he didn't even know who man was. Um, he just put it up, he saw the thing, he must have liked it obviously, he put it up on his page and he was like, Blue Channel, who is this guy? And they tag him in the thing, innit? So boom, some of the Blue Channel's followers actually follow Bobby Kasanga and that. Like, we all, we, all, we all follow the same people, and it all certainly you lot, that's what I'm saying, like, Bobby Kasanga, you lot all know, it, know who he is, and that. Uh, all people that follow me will follow Bobby Kasanga, and vice versa, and that. Uh, so, certain of the Blue Channel's followers that saw the post on Bobby Kasanga's page must have said, oh, that's JYST, that's JYST, that's JYSTV, and that. Uh, so, then he's at it, man, and that. Uh, when, people, when, you, when, when you're doing the right thing and you resonate with people, people will share your thing. You don't need to do all this promote, promote, promote thing. Because you're relying, you see this, this is the thing, outcome dependency. Why do you think so much men even go out and they're unhappy um, when they go out on a night out and that? So basically for the man then, yeah, it don't matter what music was playing, it don't matter how much alcohol they drank, it don't matter what conversation they had or whatever with their friends or what 
what kind of evening was. The evening was dead if they didn't get no girls' numbers. But if they got five numbers, oh, that, yeah, that was the best, best raving in Shoreditch. Do you know why the evening wasn't good when they didn't get all the numbers? Because they're outcome dependent. They've gone in, gone out with the mindset that, yeah, I'm going to get five numbers or four numbers today, tonight. Never be outcome dependent, man. That's how a lot of men fail with gal as well. Outcome dependent. No, you don't want to be outcome dependent. I mean, I mean obviously, if you're having um, heart surgery, yeah, I'll fucking be um, outcome dependent as well. you damn right. But with things that, that ain't life-threatening or whatever, it, yeah, or ain't that important, really and truly, you don't need to be outcome dependent on that. You don't need to be outcome dependent. So, yeah, like I said, I'll never promote my thing. Um, nah. Nah, I looked into it before, innit, yeah, but now, I, nah, nah, I'm not, I'm not paying no one. I'm not hitting up this person, oh, get me an interview, get me an interview and that. Nah, 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 nah. I'm going to do my thing the organic way, innit? And if people like my thing, they want to invite me onto their show, their platform, their podcast. If not, keep it moving. But literally, and everyone will say this, oh, I feel like I should blow up. No, I feel like I should blow up because there's no one else like, man. Someone else posting a couple links of man from the UK who have come from that lifestyle, who've been to jail, been on road, been out here, really on the front line, going down there on the weekend, you get me, to look for icy trees and that, yeah, who's able to turn their life around and buy properties and that and get on the right path. That, name me one or two other men because I don't know them. Tell, tell them to hit me up and we'll do a Rouse Club podcast and that. You know, there's a lot of men out here, they, yeah, they're not really on front line no more. Not because, you know, they've given up that lifestyle. They're too old to be on front line. But they're still in... Like, I see men on these podcasts and that. And I think to myself, right, you're not, you're not in a gang like that no more, aren't you? Yeah, but you've never mentioned what you do for work and that. What are you doing? Like, really and truly, you have to check it. Some of these men that have these podcasts and that, these older men that have a name on road and that, they're talking about doing this for the youth, doing that for the youth and that. But are they really on the right path and that? Because I've never heard them say, I do this for a living and that. I reckon they're still trapping. They're still in the game. Man need, man need to break the cycle and that, man. So, literally, I don't even know if there's anyone like man, really, that's, you get me, out here trying to make a difference. I feel like the man them that did live that lifestyle and that, they're still hungover in it. Really and truly, but anyway, man, I, I ain't um, gonna be just cutting up nothing and sending it into this um, blog page and that. When the people them share my, when the people them like my thing, they will share it in it. Yeah, that's the best way to grow. If not, you're just gonna fade out. I see bare people on them blog pages and that that used to pay for promotion. I ain't seen their thing in a year. You know why? Because they feel like, oh, man's putting in money in that, and I ain't getting the results back. I know, man. Start a rap career and that, yeah, billboard thing, and you get me advertising that one video didn't get the views that they thought. They thought they was gonna get 200, 300,000, a, a, mil, a million views, and that didn't get the views that they thought they was gonna get. I ain't bothering again. Outcome dependent, man. That's the best way to fail. Stay away, done, man.